Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how I cut jump rings with a jeweler's saw. For this video, we are going to use a jeweler's saw, a size 3 art saw blade, a V-shaped bench pin and clamp, and you are going to need some um, protector tapes for your fingers. I'm using this one right here. Painter's tape. and some wax for the saw blade, a flush cutter. I'm going to use this bale making pliers to make the um, jump ring coils. I'm also using this silver 12 gauge aluminium wire. And you can find a list of all the materials in the description box. So I'm going to go ahead and make the jump ring coils and I'm using the third step on the bail making pliers. Next I'm going to place the wire between the barrels of the pliers. Then I'm going to twist my hand away from me to make the first coil. Then I'm going to bring the wires next to each other as you can see here. So when the barrel is filled, as you can see right here, you are going to gently remove a part of it from the coils so that you can continue coiling. At this point I'm going to remove the coils from the pliers and also from the reel. So next I'm going to wrap the coils in a piece of painter's tape. And what this does, it makes it a lot easier to cut the coils with the jeweler's saw. Next, I'm going to connect the blade to the jeweler's saw. The saw blade has a side with teeth and a side that is smooth. When you are inserting your saw blade, be sure to have the teeth facing away from the saw. So this is the slot where you are going to insert your saw blade and to do so you will have to unscrew the slot first. So I'm going to insert the blade like this then I'm going to close the slot. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So the blade is going to look flimsy at this point. To correct this, unscrew the bottom, then push the long metal away from you and close. Next, I'm going to attach the clamp and the bench pin to a table. So I'm going to insert the clamp through the bench pin like so, then I'm going to attach it to the table. Next, I'm going to use a protective tape to protect my thumb and my index finger.
Next I'm going to apply a small amount of lube to the saw blade. Then I'm going to cut right next to the end of the coil. To cut these, I'm going to place the saw and the coils in a slant position as you can see here. Now that I've cut through some of the coils, I'm going to go ahead and remove the jump rings as this will make it a lot easier for me to cut through the rest of the coil. Now that I'm finished, I'm going to release the saw blade so that I can get to the other jump rings. I absolutely love making my jump rings like this because this gives me the option to make the jump rings into whatever size I want them to be. In addition to that, the jump rings are cut flush. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.